Today we're talking about the Brooks Ghost 15. Brooks Ghost 15, Yeah. it's softer and lighter than ever. You've tried it out. Let's talk a little bit about how it feels to run in, mainly the upper first. Yeah, the, the upper is very nice, I think. You have padding around the heel. You have this tongue, which is also padded. Yeah. So all in all, this is a very comfortable feel when you <laughs> stick your foot in and, and the, the mesh is pretty breathable as well, uh, but still pretty durable, I yeah. would think. It looks like it's like a double layer mesh, so yes. that makes it a little bit more durable, and then exactly. it looks really soft yeah. around the heel collar. It is. So generally, a uh, really nice upper. How does it fit? Like the... I would say the fit is just a standard fit, yeah. right? So it's not narrow, it's not too wide. It's right in between. It uh, fits my foot very good. Yeah. So, yeah. So generally, just a really comfortable upper. Yeah. Let's go over to the midsole. This has DNA Loft version 2. It has. Yeah. <laughs> the first thing I noticed is I was just like completely silent <laughs> running in these shoes. And yeah. I, I don't know what's going on, but somehow I have a really nice flow in these shoes and I don't clap in any way. It's, it's yeah. very silent. <laughs> That's also really um, impressive because it's not like the biggest rocker, but nope. that means that it, you have a really nice flow somehow or like a heel to toe transition. This midsole is also kind of just in between. Yeah. Right? You can take it for a, a jog, but personally I prefer going a little bit faster in the shoe. Yeah. I, I think because it's not super soft. No. So for a very slow jog, you don't get this super soft landing, which I like. Yeah. But when going a little bit faster, this is just enough. Yeah, I think it's a good balance for faster runs. And sure, uh, you can use it for intervals, stuff like that as well. Yeah. Kind of all around. Exactly. So it fits into that lightweight daily trainer category. Yeah. If you want a little bit more stability than the Ghost 15 gives, the 15 doesn't have a GTS version. Um, like there's, that's the stability version that they call the different shoes, but it has a sibling that's called Adrenaline GTS, which basically is very, very similar. So if you want that lightweight daily trainer, but with a little bit more stability than the Adrenaline, it's a good choice. If you want a little bit of a softer shoe, then the Glycerin would be a really nice one. That one has a DNA Loft V3. So that is the nitro infused midsole. This is a normal EVA midsole. Yeah. So it's a little bit less bouncy, but just very durable. Then the outsole. Yeah, you just said it, <laughs> very durable. Yeah. <laughs> right, this, well, for stickiness, Yeah. it has performed just fine yeah. for me. I haven't experienced any issues uh, with the grip. Uh, obviously, it's it's a road shoe. <laughs> yeah, it's there's a lot of coverage and it's quite thick. Yeah, it's very yeah. thick. So yeah, I would expect to be able to run a lot in these shoes before wearing them down. So so for a daily trainer, this is a very nice feature, I think. Yeah. So it's, for me, this sounds like the ghost is sticking to where it's been. For, yeah. for the last yeah, maybe 15 years. It's a solid daily trainer and it's by far the most sold daily trainer that we have from Brooks. So it's just a loved shoe from a lot of people. It's just a durable, a little bit more of a traditional uh, running shoe. Yeah, it's, that's a, it's a safe bet. Right? It's a safe bet, yeah. it just works. Yeah. And you can of course buy it on runningexpert.com.